This is the Daily Word, Father Barry. Good to be back again with you. St. Jerome is the feast, Wednesday, September 30th. Let us pray the colic. O oh God, who gave the priest St. Jerome a living and tender love for sacred scripture, grant that your people may be ever more fruitfully nourished by your word and find in it the fount of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. St. Jerome, another saint of the day named with a parish in our diocese. We have lots of saints this time of the year that have parishes with the same name. Our friend Father Scott Hahn your former pastor. He's down at St. Jerome's. Maybe say a prayer for him today. A reading from the book of Job. Job answered his friends and said, should one wish to contend with God? He could not answer him once in a thousand times. God is wise in heart and mighty in strength. He removes the mountains before they know it. He overturns them in his anger. He shakes the earth out of its place and the pillars beneath it tremble. He commands the sun and it rises not. He seals up the stars. He alone stretches out the heavens and treads upon the crests of the sea. He made the bear and Orion, the Pleiades and the constellations of the south. He does great things past finding out marvelous things beyond reckoning the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. That is nice. We have a uh, mention of the might of God, which is appropriate right after the day we celebrated the angels, right? We have the Lord, uh, the maker of the stars, or the really the conductor of the heavens. So we hear about some constellations there. That's kind of neat in today's scriptures. And uh, we talk about the earth and from the tallest of the waves to the, to the quaking of the earth. But everything is really under the Lord, under his reign. We know that we're kind of in a broken down system, though, here. Fallen world, fallen humanity. And so not everything is working right, especially ourselves. But we have the word of God to try to lead us back. So St. Jerome gives us the scriptures, the Bible saint. We're glad that we have the scriptures to turn to. And in this daily word, every day we're giving it to you, we're trying to pick out one of the readings from the lectionary and present it to you and just have a little, uh, little time to think about it, ponder it, like right now. Well, just today I was pondering the power of God's word even in the life of a seven-year-old. So we're teaching classes in religious ed to the youth. And the first grade lesson today, it says um, we need to come to understand God's word. And there we come to know and love God. And we learn ways to live as Jesus taught. And then next we tell God that we believe in him. We're talking about the mass. That after we hear the word of God and learn ways to live as Jesus taught, then we stand up and say that we believe in God. Uh, but then they're asked to, to draw the gospel being presented to them at mass. And so they draw something and I uh, drew something myself for them to see. This is my uh, fantastic artistic ability here, not. <laughs> but I was drawing what it's like as the, the priest is up there. He's a red-headed priest. He's got his green chasuble on. He's preaching. You can see uh, lines coming out of his mouth as he's preaching the word. So I put Bible up there so it's clear he's preaching something out of the Bible. He's up at the ambo. And there's our young person out in the in the pew in the front row taking it in looks like uh the first graders actually getting something out of 
the word of God there or what the priest is saying about it. So I do that for the kids to see my perspective. And of course, I was asking them for them to draw what it's like to be sitting out there and listening to me. And and also I was telling them that I, I like it when I do just children's masses where it's just people all the same age because then I can, you know, talk just directly to them and give them examples. So anyway, that's what we're doing in the religious ed program. We've been making tapes with the priests and our DRE, uh, Helene Stever and some catechists, some other volunteers and teaching to the kids on tape that they can watch at home and go through our program since we can't meet in the church right now. So our religious ed program starts in, in a matter of days. So please pray for it, especially as we bring them the word, bring them the scripture. A lot more scripture in the religious ed and Catholic school books these days than used to be. Kids learn a lot more about the Bible. And that's good because there's a lot to be learned in the word to put into practice in our in our daily living and that's what i just wanted to say to you today that when you look up and see the constellations realize that god put them there and they're looking down at us saying we're shining bright up here what are you doing down there and i'm praying for you that you'll have some fruitful adventures in the word if you haven't been in the Word lately, get back into it. Either take the daily Mass readings and go along, or just get into an epistle or two, Philippians, Colossians, Ephesians. And just go through and see what it's saying to the church and see what it's saying to the church then and to the church now. Or just take a slow trip through the Gospels. Thank you. St. Jerome, pray for us. Amen.